focus does seem to be on the north, so uh, Yorkshire, the northeast, Humberside, um, where productivity is uh, a lot lower. Frankly, I don't think there's any chance at all that the so-called levelling up will make any difference at all in this part of the world. Southwest of England, reasonably prosperous, reachable for, to London, uh, property prices are very high. Um, I can't see what the government will do. It's a different issue when you come to the north. Because from what I see in my area, there are a lot of people who graduate university, uh, for example, Swansea, and then they end up leaving to go uh, either to like London or to Bristol or like to a major city. Um, I live in a rural part of the north, very rural, and the public transport is virtually non-existent. This harbour, I think, is very underutilised. Every other seaside town that I've been to, they use their harbour a lot more. And I think my town doesn't use it enough. There's no water sports or anything. Faster internet speed, um, especially where we live, it, it can be intermittent. As you can see, there's a gym right there. There's football pictures all the way down there and also more football pictures. Uh, we'll have a park street up there. It is a good part of uh, Dundee, even though it's a deprived, meant to be a deprived area of uh, Dundee, it still seems okay for me. We have lots of shops on the high street. A lot of them actually weren't here five years ago when we moved in. And in the town square, we've also got a coffee shop which is really popular all times of the day and this is where there's a market that takes place on a Saturday I believe and we also have the odd fair here. I really like this area. Uh, it can be very busy and noisy but it feels like a proper city and uh, that's what I really like about it. Obviously I live in the northeast so the rail, improved rail links like the LNER services from Newcastle to London um, have definitely benefited um, the area because it's like makes it quicker and easier to get into the capital and hopefully will um, will draw investment up up to the northeast. Successful leveling up would mean that there wouldn't be as many homeless people on the street because they'd have houses or shelters. Um, it would mean that unemployed people were being paid higher universal credit. Um, and it would mean that infrastructure, healthcare, education would get more funding. Um, I would like to see um, increased li life expectancy of people living in the north, because at the moment it's unequal between people who live in the north and people who live in London and the south east or the south, um, and probably due to health inequalities. Providing more jobs providing more engineer, engineering related jobs, for instance, maybe some business related jobs, more opportunities and more funds to start up new businesses. If I go into some of my local cities like towns like Tiverton, uh, everything, every second shop is, is an empty shop front. It's not on the way up. So you can judge whether a place is going up or down very much by what is happening in the core of its city. Devolution uh, is important because it ensures that decisions are made closer to local people, um, local people and the communities and business and it will provide freedom and flexibility at local level. Transport, I think it's important to listen to local government and you know local groups but at the same time Transport can't just be decided by local communities, it has to be decided by what is needed nationally. Um, like stuff like HS2, if we just listen to local councils, I know that some places aren't happy with HS2 being built through them, but in the kind of national picture it's, it's important. And you're never going to be able to do any 
real levelling up unless you increase taxes, and particularly taxes, of course, on the rich. And I think the latest um, row over national insurance to pay for social welfare it is, of course, indicative of this. I don't think levelling up can be accomplished, especially here in Scotland, where they want independence. I haven't seen any evidence of change or things getting any fairer or more equal. Things need to improve and I believe they will improve, but it's going to take time. But I'm hoping that uh, with government support, both Welsh government and the UK government, things will definitely improve. Thank you.